Good evening, everyone. Today is the 30th of July, Saturday evening, and I'm preparing this for Sunday morning devotional, 731.22. I've done different messages regarding house churches. The prevalence of house churches in the New Testament is um, without, you can't refute the fact that there were many house churches in the New Testament. And I've often said that living in these last days that we're living in, we are actually... um, I believe the true bride of Christ is uh, worshiping in house churches. <clears throat> my wife and my son and myself have attended over a hundred different churches throughout our lives, only to get disappointed with the teachings, the anti-biblical teachings going on in most of these churches. And so, we were left with the option of continuing in these churches teaching false doctrine or coming home and just worshiping in a little house church. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you need to, you need to go to a church, you know. And I was often said, well, church is not a place you go to. The church is the bride of Christ. You know, and of the organized churches, you know, the way they try to control people is say, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Well, we assemble together in this little house church every week around the scriptures, and we usually sing some hymns and some psalms and um, have a time of prayer and and um, have a time of Bible study. And, you you know, a lot of people try to say that I'm taking it out of context when I say that what Christ has said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. That's Christ talking. Two or three is not very many people. You know, not, it's certainly not a mega church. And so the question is answered this is why house churches exist. <clears throat> this is why house churches exist. Because there are families that do not feel comfortable staying in. Denominations and organized religions that are teaching false doctrine and upholding people, promoting people like C.S. Lewis, Billy Graham, um, the free will of man, um, potential salvation. Um, you know, accepting Jesus into your heart. All of these things that are contrary distinction to the Bible. They don't teach the whole counsel of God. They they deny the election, they deny predestination to adoption, they deny um, particular redemption and they just gloss over a lot of scriptures and actually leave out a lot of scriptures in their teachings. So that's the purpose of house churches is to stay in the Bible and to teach the whole counsel of God. And so, you know, that's why that there are house churches out there. You know, We're told to be ready to give an answer to everyone of the faith that lies within us. 
And I've tried to do that over the last, you know, since 2006. I've been on Sermon Audio, you know, and we've endeavored to teach the whole counsel of God. You know, it's now 2022. <clears throat> so, that's 16 years that we have been uh, in this little house church. Now, there's been times we've visited other churches and tried to <laughs> fellowship with people in that 16-year time even. But it hasn't worked out because, you know, some of the ministers, they want to take their children to Star Wars and they want to be a part of the world. And we're told to come out from the world and be separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. And when it comes to endorsing some of these people like C.S. Lewis and Francis Schaeffer and and um, Adrian Rogers, who's now deceased, um, I cannot go along with that. And especially when people start joining in with the Roman Catholic Church and just saying they have a little different doctrine than we have. Billy Graham even preached it from the pulpit. You know, he said, you know, whether you're Catholic or Protestant, it doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does make a difference. You're teaching works doctrine like the Roman Catholic Church teaches. By grace you are saved. Through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2 8. So, <clears throat> when people ask me, where do I go to church? I tell them, we attend Pineville Grace Fellowship. They go, where's that located? I go in my house. Okay? And, uh, so I just wanted to give an answer to people that want to know what, why house churches, you know. That's your answer. Um, we endeavor to teach the whole counsel of God. Hope you have a good uh, day today. And if you're attending a church that is teaching false doctrine, teaching the free will of man, denying predestination, denying election, denying particular redemption, denying the final perseverance of the saints, um, lying about the Bible, then get out of that church and go home and have a house church. God bless.